Okay, so let's explain. How do you know? Did John McCoy call you? Jean McCoy. Where do I know that name from? Ah, yes. Jean. Another FBI agent. More easygoing. He came here a few years back. Poor soul, he was utterly lost. He loved my coffee. And we used to sit at that table over there, talking for hours. I would guess you are the girl he told me about. I wish he'd let me deal with this on my own. Sometimes we do need a push, my dear. And here you are, taking the right steps. When did they start? The visions. I will tell you what. Go and sleep on it. Visit your brother tomorrow. Wait, how do you know? Sleep on it. And if you are ready tomorrow, come back here and I will show you a few things. All right? We'll see. Hmm. I could stay up driving all night. I could use the time to think, but I'd better get some sleep tonight. I have a feeling tomorrow is going to be a long day. Ready to go. I should see what Davies wanted. Okay. Hmm. Right, well, we follow the narrative. narrative. Hi, Gwen. Hi, Gwen. How are you? Erica! Working hard. You know, lots of things to file. But hey, can't complain. Still have my job. <laughs> yeah. So, what's up? So, how's it been handling the evidence room? Crazy, isn't it? Davy said it's only until we get out of this mess. Cutbacks and all. Wish this came with the raise, but what can you do? Anyways, if you have any requests, I can get it for you. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. Man, your hands are freakishly large. <laughs> Where is Davies? <laughs> good morning, John. <laughs> What's so good about it? <laughs> you are an iridescent ray of sunshine today. Did you have your coffee yet? <laughs> Shit, no coffee will fix this. What's up? All this paperwork that fell on my desk today, like a goddamn ticket tape parade. I'd offer my help, but... But? Don't really want to, sorry. <laughs> Bring me some donuts if you want to help. Will the bag of chips from the vending machine do? Get out of here. Have you seen Davies? Sully told me she left early. Got reeled in by something, I suspect. Great. Know when she's coming in? Nope. Now stop asking questions. <laughs> it's my job. Well, stop being so good at it. Hmm. Had any new thoughts on the hanging last night? <laughs> you see my desk? A man cannot think straight with all this. You know, there's something that doesn't fit. Erica, every case you've worked on, you've hoped it had something to do with Scott's killer. It's that gleam in your eyes. And it's right there, right now. It isn't that. Davies had a bad feeling about it, and I agree. Well, you know what to do. Put your clues together. Go back to the crime scene. Pay a visit to Dr. Gallagher. See what surfaces. Meanwhile, you'll be here guarding the donuts. Mm, there's a bright donuts. side to everything, yeah, I but, said. Yeah. But there's no donuts today. So I can't even have that small comfort. 
Right. Well, I guess... How are you feeling, kiddo? I'll survive. I'm gonna stop by Scott's grave today. Red, my mama always said, if it's meant to be... It'll happen. You know what pisses me off? Not that I haven't caught the killer, or that Davies closed the case. But the fact that there may be another pair of innocent suckers out there whose lives could be about to change forever because of this bastard. He's been quiet for three years. Maybe the guy died, who knows, had a heart attack. The guy was on fire last time anyone saw him, you know? Look, in any case, stop the whining and go do some work. You are better than that. Yeah, I'll catch you later. The guy doesn't go anywhere without that thing. A present from his dad, or something like that. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> run, Elka, run! In that very strange animation that you have. Uh... Go to the morgue. Do, do. Oh, I can't pull the fire alarm. All right. Isn't it cozy here? The Erica. No McCoy today. Nope. All by myself. Ah, good. All I can talk you up some romance. Then. Terrence, you're my one true love. Mm, so, how's life at the morgue? It ain't too different from when I had a team. No one speaks much. Only difference is that our zombies preferred to be in front of their computers with the lights off. <laughs> John says the same about me. I'm sure Gallagher is lovely to work with. <laughs> I keep getting on her nerves. <sighs> it's my new hobby. Any luck identifying a guy? All the DNA strands I found were from the victim. Nothing from the killer. Not a drop of sweat? A hair? Nothing? <sighs> Nothing, man. This guy was clean, and I always find something. So they knew exactly what they were doing. What about our John Doe? It'll take a few days. You know how these things are. You'd think they'd come up with something faster. Call me if something comes up. Got it. Dun, 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 dun. I found something on that antique piece from last night. <laughs> Spill the beans. Apparently, it's a creepy toy from the 18th century, but it's been modified. So it wasn't something that was just laying around? No. It was very intentionally left there. Hmm. I won't confiscate it then. See what you can do with it. See you later. Alligator. There is a bit of lag or stuttery sort of thing. Agent Reed. Gallagher? Oh, great, not this music. Dun 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 dun. Jesus, what the hell is wrong with his stomach? How's the autopsy going? This is an interesting one. Have you found anything new? The subject was drugged. I found high doses of a substance in his body. Okay. Have you identified the substance? I've sent it Be to it. the lab. <laughs> I'll have more info on it later. Is there anything you can tell me about it? It was probably used as a sedative. There are no signs of direct struggle, other than those of dragging the body. Whatever contusions there are must have been caused by the friction of the skin with other materials. Like when the killer raised the victim to the table. So it was a smaller person. Whoever did this definitely struggled with carrying the mass of this body. You are certain now that the victim was killed by strangulation? 
After close examination, strangulation was the catalyst, but the victim suffered both a heart attack and a hemorrhagic stroke. How exactly did that happen? The blood pressure progressively reached higher values. That, combined with a lack of oxygen, was a fatal combination that caused all regulatory systems of the body to fail. The brain and heart are only some of the organs that suffered massive damage. How long did you say this process took? I would say between 45 minutes and an hour. Nice. Are we running tests to ID the victim? Yes, Agent Reed. I know how to do my job. We sent a dental and are running a DNA test. Weren't lucky with fingerprints? The fingers are extensively mutilated, but I will try to reconstruct it later and see if I can get a partial. That's gonna take more than a few days, isn't it? Indeed. How's life treating you, Gallagher? I'm down a secretary and down an assistant, and Terrence moved in upstairs. What do you think? Are they both gone permanently? At least until things turn around financially. That's too bad. I miss Susie. She was an excellent secretary. I hope I can hire her back someday. But right now, I'm busy, Agent Reed. Yeah, I'll leave you be. Hmm. Okay. Bye. I'll be seeing you, Dr. Gallagher. Good luck, Agent Reed. Okay. See what we can I don't see. think I'll get more than what I saw last night already. And Gallagher won't be happy about me touching the body. Touch the body, touch, touch the body. Okay, so we'll go back to the crime scene. Got the cemetery. Well, it's flashing. Let's go there. What? What does it say on your t-shirt? Oh, because of course it's reversed because the camera. It Damn. says daddy by day, gamer flowers. by night. That's what we can borrow some. These are pretty flowers. I'm sure no one will miss it if I take one. <laughs> daddy by day, gamer by night. Which is absolutely true, in my case. This is terrible, but no one will miss it. I hope. Scott's headstone. There we go. Scotty. How are you, baby bro? I'm sorry it's been a while. Oh, look at this place. It's a mess. Freaking leaves are everywhere. I wish I could say I have a great lead on your case, but Davies closed it. And there's nothing I can do about it. And this thing that I've got is still out of control. Well, how are you? Dead. How are things oh. on the other side? <laughs> Crap. I'll come Talking more here. often and I'll bring dad <laughs> next time. I promise. And I'll keep this promise. You know you're kissing a stone, right? <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? I don't mean to be rude, but you took the flowers from my brother's grave. Oh, I'm so... Uh, yeah, that, uh... <laughs> Don't sweat it. I couldn't help but overhear what you were saying. You lost your brother too? Yeah. I'm wicked sorry. I'm Erica. And you are... Cordelia. I'm so embarrassed, Cordelia. I'll pay for a read. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, really. It was just funny. You were so natural at it. <laughs> Wait, what does that even mean? <laughs> so sneaky. Oh, yes, well, 
I'm known for that. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt. I'll be over there. Hmm. Quick, steal some more flowers. Oh, that was so embarrassing. No, nothing there. Okay. Hey, so, come here often. Hi, Erica. <laughs> you look familiar to me. That wouldn't surprise me. I hang around here a lot. Sometimes I even sneak in at night. Ooh, <laughs> really? Dangerous. Wow, that's dedication. That's I take you... care of the family business. Max was an ace at it. He would always tell me what to do. So I still come here to talk to him. Or talk the issues through myself, I guess. I see you do the same with Scott. Is that... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be intrusive. Yes, yeah, Scotty. I don't come here as often as I would like, though. But I must have seen you here before. When did your brother die? About six years ago. Scotty it's in his grave, you bitch. Ago. Should have read it while you're nicking the flowers. Has it gotten better? <laughs> oh, it's not so much the years that pass, but that you learn to accept it. And that's always the hardest part. Scotty was murdered. I'll only rest when I put whoever killed him behind bars. Are you a cop? FBI. And yeah, that's what makes it even harder to accept. Bye. I have to go now. Well, hey, you seem all right. If you ever want to hang out, you can probably find me around here. I've never been asked to hang out in a cemetery before. Uh, maybe in high school. We can go somewhere else. You know, as morbid as it sounds, the cemetery is fine. We can be close to them. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. It was nice meeting you. Hey, Erica, you dropped this. Rose? You know her? Yes. She took a lot of the pain away. Are you seeing her? I'm trying to figure out if I want to. You should. She's really something special. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. Well, let's go crime scene. Do do. All right, now that it's quiet, I should see if I can use these visions of mine to find more clues. Okay, first of all, there's a la ladder. Where the hell does that ladder go? There's no door. Or anything in the floor. Picture, but no, we can't do it yet. Oops, can't do this yet. The roof is a dead end. I don't need to go up. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> I mean, that freaky music is bad enough, but the the eyes, the eyes. There you are, my dear. I'm not too thrilled about it, but yeah, here I am. Wearing the same clothes as yesterday, as are you. Hey, Rose. Yes, my dear? Help me, I've Rose. I've had the time to think about last night. About this thing of mine. Your vision, Jimmy. <laughs> How do you know about that? Many of my customers ask the same questions. You do not believe in the crystal ball. Neither do some of them. Sometimes we mop what most haunts us. All right, I'm getting tired of this runaround. 
If you want me to be upfront with you, why don't we start by you telling me what you know, and then we can take it from there. Very well. <laughs> what do you want to know? Sorry, someone says it. <laughs> Very good points, James C. Thirty-three five nine. <laughs> someone forgot to paint a hatch. Until a few days ago, I seemed to have some control of it. But now, it's just... It's very painful now when I try to use it. Sometimes I see myself... Things that haven't happened to me. Hmm. Is that bad? No. But I wonder why is it happening? Before, you always saw the past? Yes. Maybe you are evolving. What? If you can see the past in ways no one else can, is it so strange that you should start seeing the future as well? Yes. That would be amazing. <laughs> Has something happened to you recently? Something upsetting? My boss closed a case that I wasn't ready to close. Let us put this vision of yourself aside for now. Let us focus on your ability to see the past. Are you ready for some training with Mama Rose? Okay. What do you know about this stuff? You remind me of myself. I used to be as inquisitive as you are. I wanted to know it all. The very last detail of everything. And sometimes I asked more than maybe I should have. But I don't regret my life or the places it took me. This store here is living proof of where I've been and who I am. Are you going to answer my question? You are what some people call a scion. A what? A scion. Listen, I'm telling you what you want to know. But in return, I'm going to have to ask you to let go a wee bit. To hear the stories. To let me help. If you won't let me help, there's nothing I can do. Okay. I feel really uncomfortable talking about my visions. You have been using them, have you not? I have, but... So what is the big deal? This is something that you have. Embrace it fully, because it is a part of you, and it will not go away. Okay, let's do it. I'm ready. Very well. Tell me how you use your power. I... I touch something and it happens. Good. You are not afraid to use this power to your advantage. <laughs> that doesn't make me feel like less of a freak. It is an amazing gift, my dear. Never forget that. Now I'm going to teach you a neat trick. I like to call this projection. With it, you will be able to extract the memories from a place to see the events from the time you wish. Places have memories? There's energy everywhere, my dear. When you learn how to tap onto it, well, there will be no one that can hide a secret from you. Now, we probably shouldn't be doing this, but what the heck? It'll be more interesting for you. Your friend Jean came here a long while ago. I want you to go back to one of the days he was here. For that, we're going to need something from him. A very personal item he holds on to all the time. The rest we will find here. The lighter, so you want basically. me to go get something personal from him? Something he would have carried three years ago. Won't this be fun? Yes, my dear. No. <laughs> I was being sarcastic. I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. Hmm. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Run. Jeez. 
John, can I borrow your lighter? Red, no one touches the lighter but me. Yeah, but it would really help me out. No. All right, John. I followed your advice yesterday, went to see Rose, sucked it up, and cooperated. Now I need your lighter so that Rose can help me. And you are going to let me borrow it. Damn. You put it like that. Fine. Take it. Thank you, John. I'll bring it back. You better. Ah, now she goes to fire the things. <laughs> uh.